Hello, I'm Thomas Carruthers. I'm Will Leggetter. And today, Will, we have a very special guest. Her name's Boo Boo. <laughs> Hello. Hello, this is Boo Boo. Boo Boo is a delightful, delightful animal. What do you think of Ratatouille, Boo Boo? She likes Ratatouille. <laughs> ah, Paris, France. Home of the finest restaurants and the greatest chefs in the world. All my life I've wanted to be one of them. You may think that's a strange dream for a rat, but I've always believed that with hard work and a little luck, it's only a matter of time before I'm discovered. Run! Get some Do you know what would happen if anyone knew we are the rats in our kitchen? Go! Take it away from here, garbage boy! Don't look at me like that! You're the one who was good and fancy with the spices! I need this job. I've lost so many. I don't know how to cook, and now I'm actually talking to a rat as if you... Did you not? Um, I'm caring for Boo Boo uh, at current. Uh, <laughs> and aren't, aren't we having a great time? Uh, for our audio <laughs> listeners, Boo Boo is a dog. Um, she's a very quiet dog. She's a perfect dog. She's lovely. Um, Will, we're in the middle of your uh, picks, your um, Will's free reign. Um, we've yet to, I think, One Full of the Cuckoo's Nest is the outstanding one from my top 10. And I believe this wraps off your top 10. I believe this was our only outstanding pick. I think so, yeah. yeah and uh, well, why don't you tell us where it is? Well, I, I think. Um... The only way to introduce this is to put my chef hat on. Oh no, we've all. <laughs> I've got a dog, you've got a, a ratatouille hat. Oh, hello, Angel. You're okay. Are we going down? Are we going down? No. Oh. There we go. Um, it's a fun show today. We've got dogs, oh, we've got hats. We're doing all that. There we go. You go for a little run. She'll be back later for Will's favourite building or set. I knew, I knew <laughs> we've got a new category Boo Boo's favourite animal. Um, you understand me? I can't cook, but you can, right? Look, don't be so modest. You're a rat for Pete's sake. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? We just need to work out a system so that I do what you want. Stop that! Stop what? Stop that! Flicking me out! Ooh. I want to make things, Dad. Stay away from the humans. It's dangerous. Ooh. Now shut up and eat your garbage. How did you do that? Just once in a life. Let's do this thing! Man knows a moment. You gotta taste this! Will Ratui is your undisputed favorite Pixar movie? Uh yes, without a shadow of a doubt. I might I say that it's it's obviously very close with the others. Monsters Inc. is incredible. The Incredibles is incredible. Let's see, let's see what I did there. Yeah, um, that, I, you know, I, I like Brave. I think Brave is great. Ooh, big Brave Stan. Yeah. Um, I have a friend called Nicholas who uh, works in a very upmarket bar and restaurant. And for the whole week, his boss told him, uh, Emma Thompson's coming in today. Emma Thompson's coming in today. And he was, and so he was telling everybody, oh, Hermione is coming, Hermione is coming. Obviously, Emma Watson and Emma Thompson are two very different people. <laughs> And then I said to him after, um, well, you, at least you met Nanny McPhee. And he went, yeah. she's Nanny McPhee? <laughs> surprises all around. Um, you love cooking. I do. I was going to say, we are, I'd say we are both foodies in the sense that oh, we yes. both appreciate good food, good, mm. we both enjoy cooking. Um, I would say I, I am the, the bigger foodie of the two. I, I've been to many cookery schools. Um, you're a, I think you're a bigger foodie. I think if we were to classify ourselves, you're definitely the Linguini of this show, and I am, some might say, the Anton Ego. <laughs> <laughs> um, in that, yes, yes, I, you, you, you enjoy cooking. For, I enjoy cooking. Um, I enjoy cooking for somebody. Oh, you're more picky for? about when food is being cooked for you. 
Oh, uh, very much so. Yeah. Because I'm a very picky eater. Exactly. Come here, come here, come here. No, 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 no. There's going to be a lot of that this show. Uh, lots of random. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> um, they yes, no. I I um. I enjoy cooking for someone, you know, a romantic partner or the like. Yes, However, no. um, I, 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 I've I never taken great pains in my personal life of, you know, cooking this extravagant meal just for myself. Um, however, yes, I think I, I enjoy eating out. I mean, we both like food. I, oh, uh... <laughs> you crude <laughs> bastard. Oh. I, I, I remember Very cunning linguist. when I was when I was a young a young man, um, my parents took me to the Birmingham Good Food Festival, <laughs> um, and uh, I met the Harry Bikers. I high fived one of them. It was very fun, um, and then we went to watch Master Chef live with Ooh. Greg and John, and they opened up for questions and they picked me. Yes, young man. Hello. What is your favourite thing to cook? <laughs> because wow, I was well. a very original child, and yeah, I had a nice chat with. John and Greg, it were great. Speaking of Ratatouille and food and food festivals, have you ever been to Epcot, Will, for the Food and Wine Festival? I've I've never been to Epcot. I've been to London about five times. No, London's not Epcot. Very different. That's that's Epcot just... in Kentshire. No, Epcot as in you as in Disneyland. Oh, it's the Disney Park. <laughs> yes, Epcot, Epcot Park. Epcot. What? Where is it that you live? Osset. Right, okay. Yeah. Where did you think yeah. did you think that Epcot was a place up north? No, in um, when when you're living in London, you say yeah. oh, I'm, Sidcup. I'm in... Sid that's it. Sidcup. Jesus Christ. Sidcup. <laughs> Have you ever been to the Sidcup Food and Wine Festival? For anybody <laughs> down south, they they are laughing heartily. Uh no, uh the oh Google's asleep. Um, no, Epcot is the Epcot's the one with with all the where you the world's pavilion where you yeah, and the Food and Wine Festival is 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 glorious. Um, it's very very good, and we're going to get a Ratatouille ride. Um, Are we? In, in the France in the France section? Yes, it's basically um, your Remy, and it's the scene where he first falls in. I mean, undoubtedly one of our favourite single minutes. The scene where he first falls into the restaurant and he's getting. And he's like oh, running okay. through all the stuff. Yes. Um, very exciting. They, they that was one of the big lockdown projects for the Disney uh for the Disney Corporation, as well as cutting half their staff. Uh, that was the <laughs> era of the lockdown project. Uh no, I'm a huge theme park person, so I'm I was very excited. Actually, um, there's a hot lot going on in Epcot. The the because the whole world's pavilion, there's been a big change with the world's pavilion in that it started off as very realistic and the few rides that were there were um maelstrom which was basically about nordic myths and actually ended with you like in a storm around a norway oil rig so it was like real things quote yeah. unquote uh, that's now changed into frozen forever after <laughs> and um as i say we're getting a ratatouille ride and we're also going to get a Mary Poppins ride in, oh, the, London, nice. okay. in the London section, yes. You have to uh, hold on to an umbrella the entire time. I, no believe, harness, you're just dangling. I, I do believe that is the gist. Oh, I do yeah, believe it is centred around the umbrella. It is It is something I'd like to maybe, if employers are watching this channel, I could I could go into sort of theme park design, what ride design, that sort of stuff. Might be fun. You want to there be an Imagineer? I, do, I would love to be. I watched the documentary. Yeah. And I Imagineering is glorious. I uh, love Imagineering. I, I remember at Osset High School, there was a huge book about Imagineering. And in year seven and year eight, when I was a very, very lonely individual and my lunches consisted of sitting in the library, I used to look at that Imagineering book all the time to such an extent that I offered to buy it. Uh, but they would not, they were not That's selling. Very something to do. <laughs> They why I don't right. Here's my big thing. Why do so many libraries not sell their books? Because the idea of it's a library, it's a communal. I know, project. but when but when like in that library in America, they've got the Twilight Zone scripts, and you're like, oh, I don't want to steal these, but you're not giving me any other choice, and you then just, you yeah. don't steal them because you're a good boy. Did not just do what most people do? Take the book and never give it back. 
Uh, but yes, but yes, really but they could have deported me. <laughs> go to a really independent bookstore in like um what Heath or somewhere remote. Um Heath isn't remote, it's right by the A. Um yeah, and, and they won't they won't have a register, they'll just have a book and they can't. Have, they might have a register. There's not many <laughs> jobs for uh, <laughs> offenders. Um so basically, you're just like you're the kid. You're you're David Bradley in Kes. You're just like, oh, I want a I want a book, but I don't have a library card. Oh, I love Kes. Uh, but oh. we're not talking about Kes. A better movie about a boy and his animal. Uh, we're talking <laughs> about Ratatouille. Uh, with... Linguini's brother doesn't oh. kill Remy. So. This is true. <laughs> I stepped on that. I stepped on rat. I stepped on rat. <laughs> I swung it in bin. Yeah, it would be a very different. What happened? What type of rat is that? What type of rat is that, Linguini? What? I, I, I just feel like I'm, it, it, it makes me happy when he's cooking, sir. When he's, when he's, cooking, he's, when he's cooking, I feel, I feel free because he can fly away. Can't, well, no, it, well, no, he's a rat. He's a rat, Lingu he's a rat. He goes, oh, yeah, that's right, sir. That's right, sir. What are you, to, what are you doing this weekend? I'm taking, a, I'm taking a rat up to Sheffield. <laughs> I could do Kez. I could do Ratatouille oh, with Kes quotes it. for another hour. Yeah. Um, we could both bonus episodes after this will record an hour's content. <laughs> yes. Um, we, we, uh, bizarre that we would do that before doing a Kes episode. Uh, but um, that's sometimes how it goes. Uh, YouTube comments. I was nine when Ratatouille came out. I'm 21 now. So this is us. The movie is so underrated, deserves more attention than freaking Frozen. Uh, as a kid, I never really noticed this, but I find it so hilarious that the rats almost all have American accents. <laughs> Bit of co commentary there. Um, for everyone who gets confused, Ratatouille is not the rat. The rat is Ratatouille's monster. Mm. I laughed out loud when I read that. Ratatouille's monster. <laughs> the Dragon oh, King. That. Very funny. Very That's funny. very good. I'm going to steal that one. <laughs> uh, just credit the Dragon King. Um, finally, the rat who saved Ant-Man gets a standalone film. Are people, I feel like there is a significant part of society that just forgot that fucking Endgame existed because of a rat tripping on a switch. I mean, is, how else were they going to do it? Oh, I think somebody wants to jump onto the bed. Um, I, you know how I would have done it? I wouldn't have made the movie. Oh. <laughs> There'll be lots of that this episode of, of oh, boo boo, not my kettle. For those who are listening, Tom's mother has just walked into the room. Tom's mother? <laughs> I don't call my mother boo boo. See, she's a, she's a naughty dog. All you wanted to do was go on the bed and now you want to get off. We should do this more often. Boo boo corner. She's going to get comfy. There we go. Oh, yeah. she's getting comfy. She likes, to, get under the, she likes to go under the covers. She likes to go under the covers and eat my pillows. Did you did you see that video of uh, of Bob I put on Instagram last night? Being being tugged. Bob Mortimer? No, my my dog Bob. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know your dog was named Bob. Yeah, great name. Um, once the Katrina unit, once Derek will watch out for those Blu-rays, boo boo. Uh, the Katrina Unit, One Star Review Corner, 85th best movie of all time. Give me a break. Jeez, IMDb has become incredibly unreliable. There used to be a time that a high rating for a movie meant something. Now, I'm going to do these as Anton Ego. Nowadays, it's pretty much standard fare for anything that's popular. This movie, while I can see why many would like it, is average at best. At four, at, as four, at, as I'm four. Like Dale Winton. <laughs> that's that's better. I'm going to do them as Dale Winton. Oh, you want to get down now? Get down, get down, get down. You're a bad dog, baby. Woo. Discipline, Eddie, go to spank your ass down. Uh, Arrested Development fans, uh, they laughed, and everybody else is freaked out. Oh, I, I thought just the Gilbert fans had laughed. No, I was singing a spanking song from uh, Arrested oh. Development, and everyone's going, ooh. Uh, sorry to dis... Oh, Del Winston, sorry. Sorry to disagree. Uh, I need to say, I've got... let's go wild in the aisles. Uh, I've seen and thoroughly enjoyed every Pixar film, even the shorts. 
up until now. I was excited to see Ratatouille, as was my daughter, who has devoured all the previous Pixar movies via repeated satisfied viewings. Mm-hmm. Ratatouille is horrible. My daughter was so bored that while normally wrapped with one of these movies, halfway through, she didn't want to watch it anymore. She hated it. And I laughed twice in the last 10 minutes and maybe once before that. It's just not entertaining. Please be prepared to look beyond the hype and see a film that's entertainment value comes from its maker and not from its story. If this was anyone but Pixar, it would be getting trashed. Got to completely disagree. It's, it's awful. I, I didn't ask, we didn't ask you, what, where, where did you begin with and where do you stand before and then since watching? I like Ratatouille, but also I don't, I can't, what are you barking for? What are you barking for? Oh, she doesn't like that too. Like oh, it. you can't leave. Your mum's not here. <laughs> you can't leave, no. <laughs> um, oh, stop it. Uh, the uh, I, I like Rex Dewey a lot. Uh, oh, you're barking for. What are you barking for? <laughs> oh, you, you chicken one. Oh, what are you barking for? You can't be barking. Your mum's not here. Um, I get higher every time, by the way, as you'll notice. <laughs> Um, no, the, I like Ratatouille, but also I can't remember the last time. <laughs> what you barking for? You can't leave. Your mum's not here. Um, I like Ratatouille a lot. Uh, however, I can't remember the last time I watched it the whole way through. This may very well be the first time I've watched it the whole way through. Very good. Um, I think I'm going to, she can't go down the stairs. Um, oh, no, I can let her. Go on then, boo boo. Go for a walk. Go for a walk. Um, this may very well be the first time I've watched it the whole way through in ever, maybe ever. Um, yeah, so, and I, I, I enjoyed it. I like Ratatouille. Uh, it's probably, um, I think I need a full Pixar film after film after film rewatch, but I know I'd never do that in a long time. I, Monsters Inc. It's Monsters Inc. And then it's like leaps and bounds between my next no, that's a bit strong. That's a bit strong. But like Monsters Inc.'s the the one I own. Oh no, I own Ratatouille now as well on Blu-ray. But Monsters Inc.'s the one I watch and return to often. That's great. Yeah. Have it, Have you seen Monsters at Work? No. Is it good? <laughs> it's terrible. It's yeah. real bad. I yeah, I didn't uh, want to. Um, one star review comment. Sorry to disagree. I've seen and thoroughly enjoyed. Just read that entire thing. Um, seriously, how can this film get more than one star? This one was funny. The fact this film is about a rat cooking for humans is absolutely repulsive, putting me off of French food. The French stereotype in the film is also incredibly offensive. I don't understand Disney's love affair with rodents. Their follow-up film, Tales of Despero, was just as awful. (laughs) Personally, rats and mice are horrible, and most people would probably agree with me. Disney and Pixar's guilty of films in the past 10 years has really dropped since The Incredibles, excluding Up and Toy Story 3. I would rather watch a marathon of Vin Diesel movies than watch this film again. Please stop making films about rodents. They're not cute, they're vermin, and need to be kept as far away from my food as possible. <laughs> Very good. Uh, I've got a one-star review. Four, four, I've got a one-star review, but it says four plus, wrote by Ryan Newby, aged 10 so boring just cooking for the entire film and then he's got his own little system violence nothing sex nothing language nothing gore nothing funny no musical no (laughs) which is it is hard to please which is how you credit movies by how much sex and if it's a musical or not (laughs) Um, which takes us into the body of the film. Let's talk about it in a, in a manner that, you know, mm. in, in a positive manner. Ten minute stretch, Will. I've only got two, uh, the sort of final ego um, encounter. And prior to that, I've got lots of nice single minutes. But uh, this, is, this is your domain, uh, this episode. Will, take us away. Well, uh, likewise, I, I've also got two um, ten minutes. Like, yeah, as you said, there's lots of nice... Pretty much up until the final act, it's all lots of nice minutes. I've gone for the bike chase. I think that's a nice, yep, nice thing. Uh, and and cooking the ratatouille. That's mm. that's what I've gone for. It, it's very lovely. aesthetically pleasing. Oh oh, absolutely. Have you seen everyone trying to recreate it? 
Um, I've seen, uh, maybe you can help with this. We're both musical fans. However, I'm not a TikTok person. Is Ratatouille, mm. I remember during lockdown, Ratatouille the musical was a whole big thing. Musical, the musical. Yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't jump on that bandwagon because, oh. uh, I mean, I saw it all happening and all of my musical theatre friends were loving it. Um, but I feel a very strong care uh, and responsibility for Ratatouille. <laughs> so when I heard what music was was being made, I thought, hmm, better distance myself. Well, uh, that, well, there we go. That's uh, Will's, Will's comments yeah. on that. Uh, uh, Ratatouille the musical and um, yes no I, I think it is a movie of, of glorious single minutes but uh, those those set pieces are fantastic mm. uh, which takes us into Tom's weirdly specific favorite parts of the film I love uh, cl cleanliness is next to godliness great great joke great joke um, yes. the French gun couple just wonderfully <laughs> stereotypical and oh yeah. we love to sex my favourite, one of my favourite Robin Williams things ever is when he's talking about Disneyland Paris and he's like, oh yes, you can come over and you can make a uh, Disneyland with, and we'll have a mini mouse with armpit hair, smoking a gumoise, talking about how she never loved Mickey. And, she's, and he goes, uh, I never loved Mickey. Three fingers, what am I, a fucking bowling ball? Fuck off. <laughs> very, very funny stuff. Oh, very good. Love, love Robin. Um, yeah, you can build it. We won't. You, we won't go. Everybody forgets that Disneyland Paris for like the first five years was empty. Nobody went in Paris. They said you can build a Disneyland in Paris, and nobody in France went. <laughs> uh, and then obviously it's become a little bit of a bit of a tourist attraction, not 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 majorly. Um, uh, oh yes, um, I put here do this thing. Oh, it's, uh, is that Linguini marching in and opening the door? Yes, <laughs> let's do this thing. Yeah, that's good, that's good, that's good. Yeah. I also have special order, special order, special order. <laughs> uh, it's very good. Um, I love uh, Anton Ego uh, spit, uh, about to spit his wine, seeing what year it is and swallowing it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, very reminiscent of uh, me in the short film The Female Gaze. Uh, directed by the wonderful Erica Chesworth and Caitlin, uh, where I played just the most sickening homophobe in the world and uh, a gay, gay pride flag walked by and I go, <laughs> uh, and wearing a fabulous hat. And uh, Erica, Erica is gay, and uh, it was just like, let's just make the most sickening person we can. Uh, one of his. Can you for that, Tom? Tom, <laughs> uh, there are there are on her Instagrams. There are many outtakes of me just improving the world's worst poem, uh, which included the line, "Oh, to be inside your vagina," <laughs> and, uh, and other such delights. And he was called Jeremy Homo, and uh, there was lots of great humour there. Um, wonderful, wonderful stuff. It's called Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Uh, there was a cutaway to uh, Amy, who was also in it, and we were like, oh no, there should be, say something here. And so I went, uh, gays. And uh, that's just in it. Uh, it's very funny. Uh, and she did in real life the whole, I swapped a picture of my, my family for Kim Jong-un and nobody's noticed. She did that for the opening credits. There was a glorious selection of lesbians, uh, including Sarah Paulson and ending with, uh, well, now Elliot's page. And um, just, she left them there for a week and had her mum didn't notice. It was Jodie Foster and Sarah Paulson. Uh, and it was glorious. Uh, that's on YouTube. Type in the female gaze, G-A-Z-E. Do you get it? Uh, I'm sure you do. Um, wonderful, wonderful stuff. Which takes us into, oh, uh, uh, I also have, yeah, Spit the Wine. Do you have some perspective? Uh, big fan of uh, Peter O'Toole on this rewatch. I mean, I'm a big fan of Peter O'Toole, full stop. Uh, legendary guy. And I love Ego Waiting. Just a simple, I love yes. Ego Waiting. I, well, I would have ordered a dessert, personally. Yeah, <laughs> or a liqueur. <laughs> liqueur. We can't do this again. Every time somebody brings up the bell, we lose five minutes of podcast. <laughs> oh, You're allowed one quote, Will. You're allowed one quote. One quote. Oh, you a lying fucking monster. <laughs> That's good. I'm going to go for... Um, and I've got these coupons. Oh, you can't... <laughs> oh, we don't want your shrapnel, Ebenezer. 
Oh, it's great. It's great. It's wonderful I, stuff. I've decided the other day it's become my favourite inside number nine episode. Ever? Yeah. It's very, very the good. Bill. It's very, great. very, very good. I uh, will have to do another episode podcast yeah. now on it. <laughs> um, which takes us into uh, Will's oh, more general yeah, favourite yeah. parts. And he's, uh, w- but with these, uh, with these movies, you, you know, there's so many little specific specific parts. Very good. Uh, I like um, when the, the old woman shoots the ceiling and the whole thing comes down and all the little rats <laughs> look up. There's that <laughs> comedy paw. That's great. Uh, when Remy walks by the soup and he gags and his eyes pop out. <laughs> Can you tell it was terrible just from the smell? <laughs> um, probably. He's got, famously, he has a great... Oh, voice. yes, that is true. Mm-hmm. It's in the text. <laughs> yes. Um, Skinner's little stairs to, to look through the window. <laughs> great. Which are then um, beautifully remade in, in, in yes. uh, La Ratatoy. Um, the tiny omelette, I think, is very satisfying. And when you can't eat it, it kills me. All the tiny rat stuff is so satisfying. I love, I mean, I don't want to step on Will's favourite building all set, but those just little, I, I, if you don't pick La, La Ratatoy and the, the, the little, uh, the just little things, I like little things. <laughs> Um, the as you talked about, let's do this thing. Um, the uh, Skinner reading the letter and going, get my lawyer, <laughs> is great. The wonderful, the, the wonderful of. Ian Holm, who um, <laughs> my big winner this this watch was Ian Holm. Rest in peace, uh, Skinner. Just absolutely delightful and hilarious. Right. And funny. Um, sucking the juice out of the grape on his little picnic <laughs> when he, he he grabs the grape and he just sucks all the juice out of it and leaves this little skin of a grape. Ever since I watched that as a kid, I tried to. You can't do it. You can't. Can't do it. Um, Linguini with his sunglasses on, hung over. <laughs> full weekend of Bernie's. Uh, we've just got into <laughs> full weekend of Bernie's territory. Um, and when the rats break in um, to the store cupboard, and that one greedy rat sucking up all the grapes and then spitting them back out. Which is very Yes, fun. that is very, again, very satisfying. I don't know if that's how the rat anatomy of a rat would work. Uh, but uh, all the same uh, Soundtrack Corner Will I'm going to spoil a uh, Tom's big question Is this the best Pixar score? Now I'm Randy Newman's biggest fan Till the day I die so I'm not going to say it is But I'm too, I love Randy Newman too much To Not choose Monsters Inc or not choose um, uh, Toy Story um, I, I love Randy Newman too much. I just, um, he's one of my absolute idols of all time. So I would have to go for. So I'd have to go for that. And I will never not be a And, and, uh, and uh, obviously, um, you know, it's an underrated song from the Toy Story soundtrack Strange Days. These are strange days. <laughs> Also, Toy Story 4, excellent track. Um, I was a lonesome cowboy. I was a lonesome boy. Your, your impression of, of Randy sounds like um, the end of Rat Race when they sing the charity gig uh, and that guy with the piercings on his tongue. Uh, I haven't seen Rat Race in have literal not? years. This should have, you, should have, you shouldn't have gone for Ardman. You should have had a rat-based fortnight. What else would oh. you have? This, Stuart Little. Stuart oh, Little. He's a, he's a, Okay, um, somebody's knocking at the door. Somebody's ringing the bell. We pause. Over the course of the break, over the course of the break, I have managed to have a nosebleed. So uh, for our video listeners, uh, I am I will be dabbing my nose. Um, where were we? I well, you we to get off that stuff, Tom. I know. I I did just bump two lines of code. <laughs> uh, people always. I mean, I say people always used to. Nobody watches this. But um, the uh, when I duck down, it's not because I'm checking my chair because I'm a big, long man. It's to do a line and then come back up. Um, tell me where we were. We were talking about uh, Randy Newman. We were talking we were, about soundtracks. Yes. Um, um, so, it, yes, I opened with the question, is this the best Pixar soundtrack? In my Whatever opinion, it. yes. I, I When I first went to watch this, I remembered it for the soundtrack. And when I like my family say, oh, that's got great music. It's you think of the music before the film a lot of the time. Whereas if you say a Monsters Inc., people wouldn't go, Oh yeah, great music, even though it's got great music. Mm-hmm. But uh yes. if we're gonna talk about soundtracks that are iconic, I think we, we, 
in my old flat, we did a we did a, we, uh, we used to have Sunday brunches. We used to have big Sunday brunches, and when I was not allowed, to, when I was not allowed to pick the music, which was often, uh, if I when I did, I actually picked some Randy Newman. I was like, "What's better than Randy Newman on the morning?" And people said a lot of things, uh, but they would they would be like, "Oh, well, let's put the Ratatouille soundtrack on," and that would let cooking to the Ratatouille yeah. soundtrack. People, well, I, I, people I like adore that. French music. Um, the, I mean, this is why um, Midnight in Paris is great. Lots of great, great music. Yeah, that's why you love Zuby Zuby Zoo in Madman, <laughs> and only that reason because of the music. That is the, the only reason. Music. That's uh... great, great music. Um, <laughs> Zuby Zuby Zoo. Um, what a no, but if I can give some honourable mentions, not only is the music great, um, the names of the songs of the pieces are great. Oh, well, is great. this a return to um, what did I used to call it? Like names names like I, and then i realized very quickly not every week yeah. is going to be funny I've, I've written the best ones down here um Shoot, remy sorry. drives the linguini i think is quite, oh, quite familiar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. granny get your gun <laughs> <laughs> um heist to see you mm. uh the end credits are called the end credit to is i think okay, it's very that's, good. Yeah, that's good yeah. um but i've gone for um in fact do you think i'll be allowed to play it on youtube my favourite one, souped up. Uh, oh, tell me, history. play it, play it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. and does this underscore the montage? Da, 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 da. No, that one. Um, oh, that's da, 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 yeah. yeah, that's that's literally just um, a repeat of our best single minute from The Incredibles. Uh, yeah. Which uh, of life's incredible again? I don't know whether that's coming out before or after this. Yeah, um, a lot of the I can't remember what it was, but it's um, it might even be um, um, oh, what's it called? I the track know. that's called uh, Colette shows him the ropes. Um, <laughs> That always used to play because I, I, the very first Wii game I played was Ratatouille. I was going to bring this yeah. up. Natat I had Ratatouille on Nintendo. Yeah. Uh, oh, which is very different. The Nintendo, you're in a garden a lot of the time collecting ingredients. Yes, you are. Um, yeah. The Ratatouille game is pretty much the same as the movie. Um, and a lot of the levels are water slides down mm. the pipe into the sewers. And that music always used to play. It's very good. Get the Ratatouille Wii game. It's the greatest Wii game. It will of all. undoubtedly be 50p now. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is weird how, I mean, I'm just, I sound like the oldest person in the world, but like, it is weird how like you'll spend so much money on things and then like it is, they are worthless. Like FIFA. Yeah. I mean, that was the whole thing with uh, 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 like collecting things and, and, and collectibles and stuff is that they always say for something to be priceless it has to begin as worthless like all those first edition comic books mm. like when in the i think it was the 90s and there was a load of new characters and everybody bought loads of first first editions thinking oh you never you never know what's the next superman's going to be and then like they just came to nothing and and now they're real they're still worthless um and, yeah. Do you remember when the uh, the new five pound notes came out and everyone was looking at that number at the bottom right saying, "Did you get the first batch?" Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 First year of college, that one. God. Yeah. God. And now that's just now that's just life, plastic, plastic uh, fibers, yeah. and then it's still no good. Oh no, they're rubbish. They're rubbish. They slide, rubbish. and you got three at a time, and you think you've got. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Bring back. Bring back paper money. Let's. I think everything that they that we need to change for the environment is shit. Paper straws, <laughs> five pound notes. <laughs> well, no, that's not why they did the money, is it? They needed. They did, they did the money because people were copying and counterfeiting yeah. and stuff, weren't they? Um, it's it's Oscar travesty time. It, it, it's slowly it's slowly loading. Uh, I, there's no argument um, for it not winning best animated feature. It's up against Surf's Up. Do you remember Surf's Up, Will? I love Surf's Up with the uh, Chicken Joe. Wow, you remember characters. That is <laughs> great. Zoe Deschanel? 
Yeah, it's great. So and, it's great. And Persepolis, which is a sort of more artsy um, uh, animated film. Uh, fine, but it's not. It's not that sweet. Did Ratatouille um, win? It should have won. Yes. Oh, no, no. Oh. Surfs up one. <laughs> Um, which, but it also, more important, well, not more importantly, but more incredibly, I guess, was nominated for Best Screenplay. Oh, excellent. excellent. I mean, oh, here we are. Oh. You detect that? An oaky nuttiness? Oh, I'm detecting nuttiness. We hate to be rude, but we're friends. I have a secret. I have a rash. You have a rash? He's toying with my mind, taunting me with that rat. Go on, it's getting away. Together, we can be the greatest chef in Paris. Ratatouille? You're in Paris now, baby. My town. Hey. <laughs> Welcome back. That's our second break uh, this time. Uh, we are riding through, riding through, and uh, we're ne nearly the end. Uh, the computer crashed uh, during uh, uh, discussing uh, the Oscars. It was nominated for Best Original Screenplay, uh, which was what I wanted to talk about. Uh, an incredible, incredible year for film 2007, as we've talked about. Now, Will, Juno won, which is a great, it's a great screenplay, lovely stuff, but not my winner. Michael Clayton and the Savages uh, was better. However, when it comes to your favourite movies and a screenplay nomination from 2007, Hot Fuzz or Ratatouille? Hot Fuzz didn't get nominated. Of I mean, those two... Hot Fuzz easily wins. Hot Fuzz is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The best thing about it is its script. Yeah. That's not slandering anything else about the film, but it's line after line after line of... Perfect. As with Ratatouille, you could say it's false best thing is the script. I don't even think like I would. I would say the concept and its creative, its originality. Yeah. That's yeah. Well, I well we talked about this in the Incredibles podcast about how like there was the teaser trailer for Wally, -E, which was we had these five incredible ideas, and the last one of those was Wally, -E. and like that's a beautiful, great teaser, but it's also like we've run out of ideas. <laughs> and uh, and and yeah, a rat who works who likes to cook. That's just a great premise. And so yes, I can see the nomination for that. Is well in the early in the like the forties and the fifties, they used to give nominate. They used to give an award for best story, um, which is um, I don't think they should bring it back. But um, that was like when like there was a story credit, and then there was a there was a screenplay credit. Um, Will's favorite building or set. But I've gone for the bistro, La Ratatouille, at the end, yeah. which is the correct answer. I think you were referring to Remy's little contraptions that he runs across mm -hmm. in order yeah. to get to his feet, his little shell. It's great. And then that little rat upstairs dining it. Oh, the whole thing is it's modest and it's much better than, I mean, Gusto's is great, but you'd rather have that, wouldn't you? That bistro yeah. buzzing every night. Nice smell, nice wine. It just, it's nice, cosy. So the question is, Sorry. I guess I'm ruining it, but when they open La Ratatouille, mm. do they, is it just a rumour mill? Is it a myth that it's the rats are chefs? Or, or do they say the rat is the chef? Oh, no. I, I, they, they'd still get closed down by the health inspector if yeah. they knew the rats. Yeah. Sad stuff. Uh, best single minute, Will. Oh, here we go. Right. Uh, rescuing the soup, the whole dance around yeah, the soup, good soup yeah. is great. Um, the training montage, the blindfold mm -hmm. uh, with him on, on the, and then killing the cats, all very funny. Yeah. Um, the, and then I've gone for the Colette montage. Keep mm. your station clean, or I will give you. <laughs> it's great. And then that leading into um, a Gilderman with this dumb. Uh, which was always the joke that I was always like, oh, I'm a boring guy. I was like, oh, it's just like random. But it's all right. It's funny. It works. Um, now I'm going to save that point. 
Um, yes, no, I completely agree. I also have hungover, as we talked about. Um, I have meeting ego and that glorious coffin, coffin set and and all that sort of stuff. That's that's glorious. And I put here rats cock, rats cook, rats cook. Uh, yeah, it's just very very fun and all the little things and the punching. Have you seen the uh, the Gordon Ramsay? version of that no i haven't but that oh, would combine two of my favorite things yes i love love gordon ramsay uh, what's your favorite gordon ramsay show oh it's kitchen nightmares usa yeah yeah oh, great stuff gordon's been in the restaurant for five hours oh i love it love it Lo what a show what a show uh, which takes us into best line. Uh, you just talked about the Colette scene, but you missed uh, the best line of that, which is uh, right here. And it's, no, you waste energy and time. You think you are mummy. You cannot be mummy. Oh, your mummy never faced there. <laughs> which is uh, very, very, very funny. Um, I also have, um, can I interest you in a dessert this evening? Don't you always surprise me. It <laughs> is uh, wonderful, a wonderful ending. And uh, I also have um, just beautiful, beautiful, uh, the review, I just think is oh, sensational. It's... Yes. I'm going to read the whole thing here, but it's so okay. compelling. And the, the, the mon it's not like Shawshank, where I just read yeah. multiple <laughs> of Fred's monologues. Um, but mostly, I miss, I just miss my friend. Um, Will, your best lines? Mike, well, the best line of the entire film is, uh, is that Skinner going, one can get too familiar with vegetables, you know. <laughs> no, that, that is really is it filth. Um, <laughs> I also like when he's um, trying to explain to Colette, no, no, I love you. And he goes, uh, I have a, you have a rash. This is yes. very funny. We've not talked about Janine Garofalo yet. Uh, she's very, very good in this as Colette. Brilliant. You, uh, I don't know what you'd have, you're not a wet, hot American summer person, are you? You've not, still not seen it. That's one of my all time comedies. Um, I'll get you. To watch that eventually. Um, no, very, very good. I am not Ruth Buzzy standing here. Again, people will be laughing, hopefully. Um, um, what's the change then? Let's get negative. I've got a couple. I don't like that he's called Linguini. It's so stupid. I, 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 it does. It, I, it always annoys me. I'm sorry. There's, it's not really even a change. It's just like either call everybody. It or nobody. I don't know it's, that it's called Linguini. I think it's the fact that Linguini is associated with Italian cuisine and this is French. I thought you were going to describe to me that Linguini is a pasta dish. <laughs> like, no, it's because, and I was like, I know, well, uh, that uh, Linguini <laughs> yeah. is a pasta. Um, the crash when they throw, the, throw something out the window definitely killed somebody. <laughs> It's the underlying darkness of this. Um, the pepper spray just feels like a weird, like, oh, they're going to pepper spray. Oh, the kids just feels bizarre to me. Um, the narration coming and going and coming and going. Um, there's too big a leap. There's too big a gap between the first. It works as a bookend. It works as a bookend. Does not work in the middle of, uh, where is it? Um, it's like, uh, he says something in like the middle. And it and it took me by surprise. I was like, oh yeah, that's that's happening as well. Um, I've got here like the when Harry met Sally is so ingrained into the pop culture that they have to come up with the most ridiculous. Like he he has to say something so different. He's like, I will have for dinner what he is having over there. Like they can't. They obviously can't say I'll have what he's I having. I will have what he is having. <laughs> it's yeah. great. They can't say that because of when Harry met Sally. So they have to. Um, come up with, I, I over there, the man with the ego, the dinner, I will have what he is having for dinner. Uh, and also, <laughs> why does everybody leave? That's just terrible. I, like, it had been a long, long time since I'd seen Ratui, and I was like, oh, oh, right, yeah, and then they come back, like, five minutes later, doesn't they? Colette, like, uh, convinces them to come back, and then all the rats cook with all the humans, and, uh, and then they don't. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But anyone can cook, which is uh, also the name of the um, Julie Walters cookbook, I believe. Is it? Uh, in uh, Baba Mia, I oh, believe. In Baba Mia. 
I'm going to. Oh, I just inject Julie Walters' cookbook. Has she released a new cookbook? No, that's Cooking with Rita. No, that was terrible. Uh, no, Mamma Mia cookbook. Um, I've got here the Mamma Mia diet. <laughs> so somebody's at least somebody's released um, Julie Walters. You keep talking, Will. What are your oh, changes? Do you have any changes? I, I didn't, I mean, I, I could bring up the casting of Ian Holm. Um, yes, technically, yes. He's, do we know yeah. that he's black, though? Uh, this is why I didn't bring it up, but I don't know. I have to do more research. I was going to say, because you, because when, when the whole, um, you know, and Family Guy and, and white people voicing black yeah. characters came out, you yeah. mentioned I this. Think. And I hadn't, and I didn't, so I thought he was voicing the black, the black guy, the, the Jamaican. Oh, that, the, and the, thought, um, the sauce, yeah. The sauce, yeah. And I thought, yeah. that's a very good voice, Ian. Not politically correct, but I thought he's doing a great accent there. And then, uh, I yes, yeah, so I didn't know that Skinner was supposed to be black or a person of colour. Uh, Mediterranean French. Ah. Well, there you go. Yeah, not great. Well, but, uh, you got away with it. Got away with it. I, I think he got away with it from the fact that he died the month that all the scandal yeah. was happening. So I don't yeah. think they wanted to go. Ian Holm has died, but let's talk about Skinner. I think um, I think he got away from it by dying. A bit like Epstein. Whoa, whoa. We're political. Whoa, oh my God. Whoa, it's edgy. Carruthers like a weapon went edgy. Um, that was my second option. I was also going to say Jimmy Savile, but I thought that was like darker. I think that was, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, both, yeah. both. Uh, well, anyway, uh, <laughs> we all know Which how that's worse today. You join us. Who was worse? Um, let's not forget that uh, me and Will made a comedy uh, satire about Hitler, and there was a Rolf Harris joke in there because the whole thing was about. Uh, these celebrities and uh, like how we forgive their art and it was basically what if Hitler wrote the best musical ever would we still say yeah but the musical's good and there was a Rolf Harris joke in there and somebody in our group legitimately had the argument for five minutes it's okay to joke about Hitler but not Rolf Harris and uh, the minute that that debate started I thought I'm going to have some fun here the fact that you have no idea what you are talking about. Yeah, but Hitler's like, okay to joke about now. Uh, wonderfully bizarre conversation. And uh, Will just sat back and uh, he did the Michael Jackson with his popcorn meme. I did the, the classic, Will, whenever there's a heated argument, stay away. Great stuff. Um, we've done what's the change. Oh, any other changes, Will? Uh, not really, not really. Um, what's left from Will's notes? I, I've got a, a couple of things. I've got, um, there, there may even be a few fun facts. Um, the the two, appearances, two appearances of past or future uh, Pixar characters in this film. Uh, you have uh, Bon Voyage, the mine. Yes. Before he, before he became a maniacal <laughs> terrorist. Monsieur Incroyable. Yes, um, I was going to say, it, Obviously, that was set in the 60s, so this is... Mind you, this no. could be set in the 60s. We have no idea. Well, in my... Well, I previously had a blog with my good friend, Will, and I wrote uh, an article about the Pixar theory, hmm. if you want to give that a read. Um, when was I wrote, last, what was the last article online that you wrote? I three articles on that blog. Oh, what were the three articles? Um, I wrote one about Hot Fuzz. No, um, yeah, I did a... Oh, must have been Hot Fuzz, Shaun of the Dead, and... The World's End. No. Oh, <laughs> real kick in the balls there for yeah. uh, The World's End. Sorry. Um, and also, in the when he's climbing, he's going to Paris the first time, he's going through, and you see the French couple fighting. That yeah. dog that barks at him is Doug from... Yeah, oh. Doug's, Doug's shadow. It's yeah. great. Yeah. Um, all that sort of stuff annoys me though, because it, it's just like cute, but how can that I, be Doug? And how can that be the uh, the mine? It, 
well, if you if you read the Pixar theory, it, I guess it makes it it makes the Pixar world feel more grounded. It makes the universe feel a bit more small. And you are the first person ever to write an article about the Pixar theory, aren't you, Will? Oh, it got some complaints. It, <laughs> it, people wrote in saying, "How dare you um, use other people's?" Uh, like they were saying, "I'd I'd I'd ripped loads of people off and take use their words." I'm like, it, it, this is not <laughs> the Pixar theory is very well known. This is just me writing about what it is. There you go. Wow, wow. Yeah. Unfortunate yeah. turn of events there for William Legator. <laughs> uh, which uh, brings, uh, yeah, I don't have any. I just put Nintendo game, uh, but I don't yeah. remember enough things about it to. Uh, well, why don't you say your fun facts then before I jumped into? Uh, well, they were my fun facts. That was it. Oh, right. they were. Like, um, Okay, every single Pixar employee, including those who did not work on the film, is listed somewhere in the credits. That's nice, isn't it? Oh, that's nice. Um, reported at the end of the credits are quality. Oh, these are these are purely credits things. I've got a couple of just credits things this time. Um, so at the end of Pixar movie, well, I don't know if that's the thing anymore, but it says our quality assurance guarantee: a hundred percent genuine animation, no motion capture or any other performance shortcuts were used in the production of this film. Very good, as it should be. Yeah, uh, and all production babies are listed. So I don't know whether that means babies that were born during production or babies that were babies during production, uh, but every one of them is listed. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there's that, uh, which takes us into uh, normal, normal fun facts. Uh, so pet rats were kept at the studio in the hallway for more than a year so that the animators could study the movement of their fur and noses, ears, paws, and tails. Must have been a rough year at the uh, Pixar offices. Uh, to find out how to animate the scene where the head chef is wet, uh, they actually dressed up someone in a chef suit and put them in a swimming pool. So that's the uh, obvious thing. Yeah, very good people at Pixar. Marketing times proved to be problematic for this movie as no food product company wanted to be associated with the rat. Oh. Uh, the ratatouille dish prepared by Remy is the alternate version called Confit Bialdi. It was adapted by film consultant Thomas Keller. This variation differs much from the conventional ratatouille in terms of preparation and method. The major difference is that the vegetables used are sliced thinly and baked inside of cooking them in the pot. Um, Will, you're, as, as we began uh, this podcast discussing, you are the chef among us. Can you tell us what uh, ratatouille as a dish is and have you cooked it? Uh, yes, I've got the picture here. Yeah. Does it taste nice or is it just gimmicky for you to cook it? Oh, it, it, it tasted absolutely delicious. However, it, it wasn't very filling because it was, we served it just as the dish was. It was about that big. Mm. Uh, and afterwards I was like, I want, I want a loaf of bread with butter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that tracks. Yeah, bread's great. Um, love bread um but it was a success it was a success oh yeah I'll, I'll i'll keep i'll find a picture while you're talking um talking about sad sad things uh anthony bourdain this was his favorite food movie he said they got the food the reactions to food and tiny details to food really right down to the barely noticeable pink burns on one of the character's forearms i really thought it captured a passionate love of food in a way that very few other films have. It's lovely. Um, wherever Brad Bird, wherever possible, Brad Bird had mainly female animators working on Colette. I guess, yeah, works, I guess. Um, which takes, and then another, oh, and then we're into tagline rundown. Will, which of these is your favorite? Oh, for those of, for our video listeners, uh, that is Will's Ratatouille. No, Ratatouille. Uh, Dinner is served, summer 27. Fine. No. He's dying to become a chef. I believe this I like is the, that. I believe it's the poster where he's like being chased by the gun. Will is leaving. This one. Oh. There's a fray. Oh, it's that one. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. So there are all the knives and stuff. I That's like funny. Do it if anyone's. No. Yes, you. And and then uh, the final one, a comedy with great taste. Yeah, that's fine. I think he's dying to become a chef. Is very. He's good. dying to become a chef. Is great, but um, 
doesn't make any sense if you if you haven't seen the poster. Yes. Whereas uh, I think I can't remember whether it's Scary Movie. I think it's Scary Movie Three it has the best tagline ever. Great trilogy is coming threes. Uh, is a great great tagline. Um, wonderful, wonderful stuff. Uh, and that's the end of my fun facts. I've got a couple of Tom's big questions. We've talked about the score. Um, and I and I have here, well, it's not, I don't actually. Um, I have here Skinner and the health, you know, like there's no legal ramifications. They don't get arrested for kidnapping and assault. Well, no, but because can you, yeah, because technically the rats did it. You can't arrest a rat, can you? There's a lot of the rats that aren't at the restaurant because they are in prison. <laughs> that is true, Will. You cannot arrest a rat. I feel like this is a Jonathan Creek episode where somebody trains a rat to kill somebody. Uh, actually, the plot of The Day of the Dolphin, the, uh, the worst Mike Nichols movie, um, where they train dolphins to kill the President of the United States. Um, which, yeah, it's very wacky. I, I've, uh, I've nearly finished Sherlock as an update. Oh, I want to see that? Four now. Season four. First two series are excellent. I'd say series two with the Baskervilles yeah. and the Paul are excellent. Then it comes back and then it's terrible. Yeah. Just terrible. Yeah. Yeah. You're in my mind, Palace. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, fucking hell. Um, what was I going to talk about? Will, uh, I'm going to end Ratatouille. Anything left to say about Ratatouille? Oh, um, Oh, I want to find something, please. No, that, that's it. That's, no, that's, that's all we have but to say. But I do that. have a five-minute bonus game called um, Tom's Using Up Paper. And so he's. we're in the middle. We're on his About Time notes. Do you remember my Tom's Big Questions for About Time? <laughs> right. Uh, why don't you just buy a new notebook? Oh, sorry, Mr. I want to kill the environment. <laughs> I, I have here. Okay. Who was the? I'm going to do a rapid fire. Who's the best Gleason? Uh, uh it's Dommel. Terrible. Oh, wrong. No, it's Brendan. Wrong. It's it's Brendan. Brendan. <laughs> Brendan was in. Oh, the movie lad. <laughs> Brendan uh, Gleason Brendan. was in the movie I watched last night with Michael Caine and um, Kate Beckinsale. And it was all set in an asylum with uh, Ben Kingsley. Oh. Have you seen that? It's Gandhi. great. He, he plays uh, exactly the Crow same character. And Stone as Croft Asylum or something. He's got a stupid name. Yeah, yeah, and it's um, and the all the the people that run the asylum have been kidnapped and taken underground and been locked up, and the asylumese are running it. And it's all very, it's all very good. It's all very good. So you might say that the lunatics <laughs> <laughs> are running the asylum. But no, I agree. The asylum ease are running the asylum has a lot of a yep. better ring to it. Yeah, that, Famous. Um, what's better, Groundhog Day or About Time? What did I say in the episode? I probably said Groundhog Day to please no, you. No, I think you said About Time. Bad. I think you said About I, I, Time. Was, there was a few of us ganging up on you. It was uh, a, but it is just about a gang. Um, I've put here Kate Moss. <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> I think it was something oh, yeah, like, because... does anybody love Kate Moss that much? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I also have here... Um, no chance of it all, question mark. No chance, I, I have no idea. Oh, no, uh, Margot. <laughs> no chance at all, no chance at all. Get a grip, <laughs> let's just be honest. And I also have here another one that I came under fire for that I thought was a very honest thing. Can you date somebody with a family name? Which I thought was a real... I, I Wait, don't what, think I could have as as in, as in Christian name. Because she's called Mary and her mother's called I, Mary. I just yeah, I, I can't I have couldn't I, do it. I yeah. couldn't, do it. couldn't yeah. do it. There are there is such a thing as uh, talking in certain parlances of certain bedrooms. And uh, no, not gonna not gonna happen. Uh, terrible. Weird. Uh, but it's... no, that was another thing that came under fire. I've got here. Uh, changes, Curtisms, um, Desmond, <laughs> Perfect Day Formula is bullshit. <laughs> I am, yeah, uh, ten, best 10 minute stretches, Margot, dinner with Margot. <laughs> and my specific favourite parts, that there's no build up. 
Vanessa Kirby, uh, Margot Offer, <laughs> Naive Speech, and Have We Had This Conversation Before? Uh, that's no. the end of uh, our bonus game. Tom's notes about um, about time. Wedding is cringy. No red dress. Uh, no oral sex is stupid. We were right. Okay. We. <laughs> this is like Tom's Tinder profile. <laughs> um, you know, I, I agreed with you on the wedding because they were like because it's complete. It's raining, and they've got that wonderful outdoor marquee. And the rain comes and the roof collapses and there's water all over the buffet. And we were like, that's, and they were like, oh, it's so romantic. So romantic, it's not... so cute. Uh, uh, fucking hell. What a fucking <laughs> shit movie. The fact that I spent three more pounds and bought that on Blu ray, I just, I will never watch that again. I just very much doubt it. Unless I have a partner who is and likes about time. The best one, I, I do think the best part is the soundtrack, bar the Ellie Goulding. It's, it's just Nick Cave. I've got it's here Nick Ellie Goulding. <laughs> I've got here Ellie Goulding and Change. I've also got You Don't Clap a Play halfway through. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, Bill Nye is excellent. We love Bill Nye. Anyway, um, we talked about two of your favourite movies today, About <laughs> Time and Ratatouille. Yeah. Um, which, which do you prefer? Ratatouille. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Da ba da ba da ba da da ba 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 ba